Hello, you divine infinite human beings. You are all that is, ever has been, and ever shall be. Keep this aside. Hi, I'm here in Scopello, and I'm Hello. safe. Hi to you. There's a leader. Hello. <laughs> the mascot. So, um, I just want to say hi, everyone. I love you. And, gee. The world's in a mess, isn't it? Here in Italy, there's a lot of um, kind of rebellion going on at last. <laughs> it only took them two years. And people are starting to, you know, figure out that, gee, maybe there's more to this, <laughs> this scam <laughs> demic. Hello, hello. Hi. Thanks for joining me, Victory. <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, if you want to comment, please do. Um, I've been on a few podcasts. Hi, Vicky. Nice to have you. And um, I think, you know, it's good to kind of observe, step back and observe what's going on on the planet. Of course, there's the first stage where everyone, you know, does what they're told and they're afraid for their lives and they're following all the um, dr draconian mandates and some of the, these illogical precautions that are for your health and they don't question they just obediently follow and you know that's what we're seeing the mat asses do but slowly slowly people are beginning to wake up they're beginning to say wow you know this just doesn't make sense i mean what's what's what gives here and they're starting to ask questions which is always a good thing it's always a good thing when you ask questions right so and then once you start to understand then the next thing you want to do is share that information you want to say look there's a dead elephant in the room you know look <laughs> wake up and of course that's you know something very passionate I've been so passionate about and I think anyone that cares about their fellow human being that cares about humanity has that desire to say look <laughs> you know look beneath the the, the mask <laughs> the mask the cover-up look beneath it and that's normal okay but then what's happened with that is that we've been weaponized against each other. So, you know, we have people that are fighting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And a lot of even the disclosure has been uh, weaponized and hijacked. So we're, you're seeing some really just, in, just ludicrous uh, things that make, and I was on a podcast the other night and I said, he kept using the word conspiracy theorist, theorist, and I said, I'm a conspiracy therapist. My job is to help people come to terms with the truth behind the lies that they've been lied to. You know, it's kind of like, <laughs> I've got to help them through this trauma because it's a rude awakening. It's really, it's really difficult when you realize that perhaps everything you ever thought to be reality is inverted, is not true. And people are beginning to do that. And, it, and it's, it's a difficult process. There's a lot of grieving that goes with it. So, and we have to have compassion for those, for ourselves during the process for, oh my God, how could I have believed that? How could I have done that? How could I have followed that? How could I have done that to my child or my friends or my family? We have to, 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 to forgive ourselves and then forgive others. We can't be weaponized against it. And we have to start using our heads because not everything that is a conspiracy theory is true, okay? And I'll just, Shout it out, okay? Flat Earth, <laughs> and then Trump's not going to save you. Okay, I said it. I finally said it. I've been hedging on that, but I'm not saying they're not doing some good things there. But you know, it's not going to come within the broken system. And you have to understand Earth because it is very crucial to what's going on on our planet right now. So if you're going into that, you're going to miss what's really happening, okay? And a lot of these psyoped conspiracy things to make you doubt everything, you know, you've really got to start thinking and using your own noodle, okay? Your own noodle. And it's important. I'm not going to tell you I did write a book about it, and it's my journey. It's my personal journey. It's called The Infinite Human. It's a journey through all this, you know, um, disclosure. It really it's, gives full disclosure, starting with religion, starting with God, starting with the separation of us from infinite source, okay? And on and on and on. It goes throughout all the false history, the government controls the families the over the controller off-planet overlords it 
connects all the dots, crosses all the T's, and explains everything. And it's my own personal journey, so you don't have to believe any of it, but I think it will resonate with a lot of people. I just felt compelled to write it. So it's The Infinite Human on my website, infinitehuman.com. Right now it's an EPUB, and then slowly, slowly I'll put it out in print, but I want to move real slow with this, because there's a lot of disclosure in there. So if you are still waking up, it's a great book to get into. It's my personal story. It's a story of love, tragedy, my twin soul, loss, passion, heartache, all that kind of hero's journey, a spiritual uh, alchemist memoirs. But I think um, it'll resonate with a lot of what people are going through right now. You know, the feeling of isolation, the feeling of loneliness, the feeling of knowing something, the irony of knowing something and not being able to convince those you love most <laughs> and try to help you because you really want what's best for them. And it's, it's, it's frustrating, but you know, it's kind of after having that journey, um, you kind of come to the conclusion. So um, I'm also going to probably be doing podcasts and I'm inviting people to to come on to it. But now my focus, okay, so that, like I said, there's the first level is just doing what you're told. The second level is, huh, what? Questioning. The third level is trying to realize what's going on and trying to tell other people, which I did in my book <laughs> these past two years. I finished it. It's a 30-year-old book. And then the next level is to rise above duality up to the a pinnacle of the triangle the true triangle the magic triangle which is why I'm in Sicily Sicily is a magic triangle and the apex of a triangle is above all this duality that we see happening in the world today you know vax anti-vax uh, mask anti-vax a uh, mask you know the, 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 the divide and conquer Republican Dem Democrat this really <sighs> lands so well all this MLK ultra mind control just really really finds its home in the disunited state of America okay, I'm an American living in Sicily so <laughs> that tells you something okay so now the next job is if you are awake if you're awakening okay if you got any questions about this if you're out there if you're hearing these words if you're going yeah yeah I'm, I'm understanding which is why I wrote my book because I want everyone to completely understand how the whole history, everything has been reconstructed um, into a fake history, a fake story of our planet, a fake everything, because you have to see the fakeness first. And then you can start, as you awake from the dream, okay, the, the power goes to those who awake from the dream spell, okay? So those are, those of us who are awakening now, are gaining the power and power true power is in your softness true power is in love true power is rising above the corruption because if you're still wanting power over someone you know and wanting to get you know rich and be more powerful and wealthy and famous than anyone then you're still <laughs> you haven't awoken from the dream spell but as you awaken from the dream spell and you really commit yourself to service and to being one with the divine infinite source then you begin to get funded back to you start having visions and you start acting on those visions and you start being guided very much about what you're supposed to be doing on this planet you begin to remember why you came here or your soul mission and you become a founder of the new infinite earth okay in the fifth dimension so that's the next job at hand many of you I don't everyone got quiet here <laughs> so Maybe I'm I'm always way ahead, you know, a lot of times. But if you understand what I'm saying, you know, I mean, you haven't fallen asleep or you're busy, distracted with something else. <laughs> um, give me a, 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 a like or a thumbs up or whatever, um, because that's the next phase, and I'm part of that phase. So, and I'll be starting bringing people, co-creators of the new infinite earth together to talk about this in podcasts and and, and and forums and videos and things. So please, if you're interested, send me an email, infinitehumanproductions at gmail.com. Go to my website, subscribe, and um, become part of the Infinite Human family. All right, my battery's running low, so I have to go. Ciao for now.